just wanna be happy How to get there, hmm, glad that you asked me I think it's different for everyone Some of us need work, others need fun Some of us need purpose to overcome But try to do what you love when it's said and done Cause there's so many differences in each of us Trust your gut, it can show you what you want Okay, you beautiful ghost, ghouls, or magis Whatever you want to be called, that's what you are to me And before I start running my mouth And just running it and running it and running it About whatever I run my mouth about Here at the beginning of videos Random question of the video Has nothing to do with the episode But what is something that is on your bucket list? And if you don't know what a bucket list is, I know it's not a term that's used as much as it used to be now. You know, back in the day, back in my day, I guess. I don't know. But bucket list is pretty much just things in your bucket to do before you die. So one of those things for me is to get out of this country one way or another um cause I live in America and I know I'm a truck driver I've been all over the United States all the lower continental 48 states I've been to every one of them and of course you know that's the continental which doesn't include Alaska and Hawaii but I want to go out of this country I want to be able to go maybe to Scotland or to Wales or Heck, you know what? I want to go to Japan. I want to go to Thailand, you know, the Philippines. I want to go to a lot of other countries besides just being stuck here in America. There's only so much America that is beautiful. Um, so, yeah, that's my answer. Um, y'all leave y'all's answers down in the comments below. And The Ghost and Molly McGee, Season 1, Episode Whatever We're On. Because, I'll be real... I don't know what episode I'm on because when they do these double episode things, things get a little topsy-turvy sometimes, and I think whenever I got this episode, it said episode 19A and 19B, and I didn't get both episodes in one like I normally do, so what we're going to do here is watch the first half first. I might give a minute or two thoughts afterwards, and then I'm going to jump into the next episode and then give expounded thoughts after that one. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Of course, y'all see what I always see at the beginning of every episode over there in the little screen, wherever it is. And it's the same thing I see every time. You know, Scratch, he's on the notepad doing, ah, uh, to Molly. And, you know, it's the intro. But the second half... I'm going to be able to see something else, and that's what I'll have up there after I'm done with this episode. So, or at least this half of the episode. But, I did get one comment saying something about they're waiting for the next episode. So, I did see a screenshot of Andrea slash Andrea. I know that she likes to be called Andrea, but, you know, I'd rather call her Andrea because I know she doesn't like it. So, yeah, I'm going to put this here by the end, though. And then I'm going to put this one in as well. And then we're going to hit that play button in 3, 2, 1, and play. Ah, right, y'all. What's the name of this one? I forgot. Out of the house, out of house and home. Okay. Dad, did you have any food? Nope. Go fetch. <laughs> so he fished. Look what I you told him I to. Counterfeit Renaissance paintings. Romanticism period. I mean... Very last Daryl really does know stuff. Besides getting in trouble. Moved into our forever home. You mean moved into my forever home? Ooh, that could be my free Midwest monthly subscriber swag bag. Start with me. I'm interested in that swag bag. <laughs> Dude. Oh, speaking of that, I've got to clean the gutters out of the house. But dude, don't start telling him this stuff. He's going to end up thinking, oh, oh, never mind. Never mind what I was saying. No, but seriously, magic's not really paying the bills these days. I know the perfect place for it. There. I now declare us a Okay. I thought it was going to be somewhere much more special, but okay. Right there on the mantel. Moved into my house after all. Along the lines of like a cake. Some food, yeah. But this is nice too. Aww. Aww. Hey, Dad's missing this. Let's 
see how much this little trip cost us. That's going to cost you a lot. Hundred dollars for an ambulance trip to me. Dollars for continued on page sixteen. Gauze, gauze should be like seventy cents tops. How are we going to pay for all this? You know, this is actually speaking to a real problem in you know hospital bills and stuff. Because good gosh, uh, whoa, twenty-seven thousand. Yeah, um, I'll say that later. <laughs> oh, yeah, Gig Pig. She does that. I forgot all about Gig Pig. Holy crap! The Dolly Parton inspired song. Wow. Are you going to get in trouble for selling cupcakes at school like this? Oh, did you mistake salt for sugar? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, you're trying to itch under the cast because cast itch. This is a lot right there. I will give Scratch that. Getting up underneath a cast to scratch his arm, that is a lot. <laughs> I was just about to say that thing's gonna eat his face. <laughs> oh, so you're left handed. That is awesome. Really? I like that. I'm left handed. Young lady. Mom, I mean, crap. What? Sorry. These are confusing times. Yeah, you stretch yourself too much. It's not easy yep. <laughs> we did it. She did it. We made enough money to pay the hospital bill in full. Wow. Sweet baby corn. Taking care of you, McGee's, was a lot harder than I thought. Never <laughs> Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, Wait a second. What are you doing in our yard? There must be a mistake. We're not looking to sell. <laughs> and the house was repossessed by the bank. What? What? I was so focused on the hospital bill, we completely forgot about the mortgage. Are we gonna have to leave our... Love you. Oh. Love you too, Mom. <laughs> Wait. So how much time passed to pay that bill? It was twenty-seven thousand dollars. Okay, so there was that. Um, that ended on a very, very, very bad ending. Um, but as y'all can tell by the screen that I've got over there, we're gonna continue on this path and see whether or not they're going to sell the house because that's the screenshot I've got and it's there it's for sale so yeah um I don't know exactly who that would possibly be trying to buy it, but you know what who cares about that okay so this last episode here before we jump into the second half I really liked what I was seeing right there or at least at the very end, the last two minutes, let me move my little Chick-fil-A drink there because it's one of those nights where I treated myself to some Chick-fil-A instead of just warming something up in the microwave and all that junk. But yeah, um, back on track though, this episode was a normal episode there at the beginning and all the way up until the last maybe minute and a half, um, yeah, but it actually had a really good song too it was like i was actually like did they get dolly parton to sing this little you know number here because it really had a lot of dolly parton influence and i'm not sure if they just got somebody that sounds a lot like her or if they literally got her to sing it so i'm gonna have to check into that or y'all just tell me down there in the comments below um because, honestly, I say I'm going to check into it, but a lot of times, I kind of just wait for that comment that's like, 
oh yeah, that was Dolly Parton, or oh yeah, this is who it was, because I know a lot of times y'all already got me covered, so I don't really actually go and check, because, yeah. Um, but yeah, this was a good episode. It really showed Scratch as well. He was really stretching himself thin in order to actually take care of the family, but then, you know, everything just fell apart because it's like 20... I'm wondering how many months they were behind. It had to be at least six months where she just forgot to pay the mortgage because she was so focused on the hospital bill. And that actually... I said I was going to say something about it. That details a big problem with medical, you know, billing in the whole because of that bill right there specifically shows how bad the American hospital billing system slash doctor system is. It actually cost thousands of dollars sometimes just to go to the hospital, just to get a band-aid sometimes put on you or a quick few stitches or it should not cost that much. And there have been times where people had to fight with the billing department to say, look, I see on this bill where it says an adhesive strip bandage costs two, three hundred dollars. What the heck? And it's crazy. That is an actual legit thing that needs to be dealt with, but 27000 for a fall, that seems to be a bit much. Um, but yeah, um, next episode, or second half of this episode, I should say. Let's jump into it. Three, two, one, and some of you are already there <laughs> because y'all skipped ahead. I don't blame you. Three, two, one, and play. What's the name of this episode? Home is where the haunt is. Okay, let's do it. Oh, they're living in the car. Well, that does make sense. They were literally out of their house like that. longer do we have to live out of the van? Yeah, you're whispering very loudly. Raisins? You can't tell a house with raisins. Yeah, I know. What the heck is that woman thinking? You need chocolate chip. Club. Oh. You're thinking, oh rocks, so no, I'm thinking, what the heck are you doing in Geode Club? Okay. Huh. And it is now a dust. Oh, okay. Never mind it being a dust. We are in a song out of nowhere. Holy crap. Okay. This has got a big time everything is awesome vibe going on for it my goodness <laughs> from Dolly Parton to everything is awesome <laughs> awesome I'm a little late there I know you're here somewhere ghost we have rats I mean come on Molly you can tell Libby she's supposed to be your best friend uh, granted, yes, it is embarrassing and stuff like that, but still. You have a history of not disclosing the truth when things are... He is great with children. Tell you what, just for you, I'll knock off my ghost. He is great with children. His things. Oh, gosh, that's creepy. Okay, remember, y'all don't know how to whisper. I'm not panicking at all. Okay, I do kind of already see where we're going with this, and I really hope we do go there with Andrea, Andrea, convincing her dad to buy the house. Okay, so we're seeing a different side to Scratch. I can't go off the sale without another offer. Okay, focus up. You've never met a ghost before. <laughs> way to find a way to reuse animation from previous episodes so that it fills in some of the time. I would like to never leave this blanket. Hey, Brighton all came together just for you. You brought so much joy to Brighton that 
everybody yes, came is. together for you. There you go, yes. A town coming together. I love seeing that. Okay, Andrea, you don't have to do social media for this. It's a good act. Oh my gosh. Really? <laughs> now it's a choice. Hmm. I wonder... No, this is all going to be credits. Okay, so... Now, I think, is the time where we're about to be pushing this story. Because this is where everything's meeting the road. And on top of that, I did see where the title to the... What I'm presuming is the season final was Molly versus the Ghost World, and I've I seen some of the titles, pretty much, so I'm kind of expecting some big things happening here at the end of the season. Um, so yeah, with this episode, I really, really, holy crap, those are the kind of things that help, especially when I see them in real life. When I see in real life, you know, communities just coming together and coalescing around one common goal that does nothing but bring the betterment of, you know, um, what's the best way to put this? Pretty much when a community coalesces around one goal to help people out, I guess is the best way to put it. That is something that I absolutely adore and love to see. It really, you know, uplifts me and just helps me feel better. It also just... Holy crap, I just love it, especially when it's something, a video in real life. Um, but, of course, I love seeing it here, too. And, of course, you know, it ended up being, you know, Andrea. I guess I could say her name properly. I, I'll get over the whole calling her Andrea thing. So, I, I, it's, I kind of did see something coming from, you know, Andrea, but I didn't think she would get the town together, but at the same time she was still trying to post it on social media and all that stuff and it's like, come on, Andrea you don't have to do everything social media, says the person recording himself watching something, but that's a whole nother matter <laughs> no, no, <laughs> oh my gosh she, uh, uh, that kind of bugs me when people do that, but you know it is what it is that's the kind of stuff that if I'm watching it by myself and I know nobody else is there with me, <laughs> that's the kind of stuff that kind of will make me tear up a little bit and be like, oh my gosh, yes, restore my faith in humanity because nowadays we definitely need our humanity restored. So, yes, this episode definitely marks, I think, a turning point to where something's about to start happening. And... Now the curse is broken. So now it is everything's by choice now. Nothing is just like, you know, he has to be there. Now it is all scratch wanting to be there with the family and Molly and, you know, everybody. So good job with this episode. I can say that. It, it, it's, a re, it's something that's refreshing to see. So... I'm going to be done with this episode. I'm going to hope these lights hold out for one more reaction. That is going to be a completely different show. <laughs> one that's a little more adult-oriented, Vox Machia. So I'm going to go ahead and watch that. Season 1, Episode 7, I think I'm on? 6? I don't know. Heck, I can't keep track of nothing nowadays. So I am going to pass it off to y'all. It is now your turn. Hit the like, tickle to subscribe, don't be texting and driving. And as Mr. Rogers always says, And I like you as you are. I do.